Welcome to the channel and this new Let's Play for Davidiette in Pera 1.2.5 and we are going to be playing as Alexander. This is a new format for Davidiette in Pera and probably the best way to explain it is in the words of Dresden is in the set is that the, the mod team feel that they've taken Davidiette in Pera as, as the base uh, overhaul mod it's about as far as they can take it because they've been pushing the limits of Rome 2 for some time and what they've decided to do now is come up with a series of dedicated campaigns based around an historical ca character or event and the first campaign in this series is an Alexander campaign now this came out back in I think it was August 2019 if you're watching this in the future and at the time I looked at it but I was still working my way through the Rome campaign and there were a few issues and even, even I think at the moment and I'm recording this in November 2019 the Dresden said there's still some balancing issues to be done but I, I just feel the need to do an Alexander campaign I mean it was a little bit of a difficult choice because that I've got a, such a long list of factions that I want to do anyway let's just get into it so let's just get into the campaign and, the, and probably the first thing you need to see is the fact that Alexander is not a new faction in the grand campaign it is a completely standalone playthrough I'm just going to click on it here and you can see that you've only got the one option to play as Alexander and this emphasizes this that this is a specific scenario or campaign to be played you, now there is a sub mod that does allow you to play I think it's Epirus and that's but that's really aimed at the multiplayers and co-op so if you want to play as Alexander and the leader of Epirus that and you can then forge a new empire that way so let's start get down to the detail I'm not going to read all the text on overhaul here because I think most people are familiar with Alexander's history he's taken over from his father and then he sets out to conquer the east which is another reason why i was quite interested to do the alexander campaign because in my rome campaign we spent a lot of time in the west we went through iberia we went all the way along north africa up through egypt but there's two big areas on the map which i never did get around to conquering one was the greek peninsula and the other was asia minor and of course the focus of the alexander campaign is the greek peninsula and asia minor this is why I think this let's play will fit in quite ideally with with the progression of, of well, something to do so let's just get in so we're going to be playing as Alexander and of course he has these specific what you could call uh, cultural trait he has Greek pride plus 10% morale during battles against the Persians now the Persians are going to be the big enemy in this campaign he's a strategist he gets plus 10% movement range for all armies that's going to be very useful now moving down to the faction traits and you can see at the bottom it actually says Macedon so Alexander's starting position is where where Macedon starts in the grand campaign also more interesting you will see that the start year has been moved back or into history because it's now 335 BC as opposed to the 278 start which is for the grand campaign it says the starting challenge is hard and I'm keeping the game difficulty on hard. Any of you, any of you who follow my channel for some time, you'd be aware I, I don't like very hard and legendary simply because it just distorts the gameplay. And I, I do very much like to experiment and develop and grow and just play with the various features in the game. Something that's not so easy when you play very hard. So we have a look at the faction traits. There are simulators, decreased public order penalties due to presence foreign cultures that's going to be quite useful because this is going to be a fairly aggressive campaign and there's Felesian pride charge bonus for all cavalry units again that's another very useful trait and it says ancient enemy major diplomatic penalty with the Persians I think that is a clue to the campaign in the fact that there's no way we're going to be making friends with the Persians and of course their various client states and satrapies where effectively they are going to be the enemy all the way through the campaign and we're going to have a look at the victory conditions and of course we're going to go for a military victory it says control 70 settlements either by direct ownership or through the client states and military allies you need to have complete control of the following six provinces either by direct ownership or through client states and military allies 
and these provinces effectively define Alexander's empire so that is the main thrust of of this campaign so we're going to get Egyptus, Macedon, uh, Bactria I think that's right that is Bactria so that would be right out on the eastern edge of the map we've got Assyria, Babylon, Thrake which is obviously just to the north east of the of uh, Macedon and Gudrosia hmm, I'm not too sure where that is I've got a feeling it's south of where Bactria is if you imagine the uh, Straits of Hormoz in on the modern map and where Iran is I think that province is roughly in that area say on the Iran Pakistan border because of course one of the downsides of the Rome 2 campaign map is that you can't really follow uh, Alexander's conquests into India and we got to maintain 160 units in total and maintain 75 na naval units that should be quite straightforward and I think that's enough of an introduction I don't want this to be too long so we're just going to jump straight into the campaign now there is no audio for this introduction it says here the Persian Empire stands against all free-minded Greeks into the east and the huge Bermoth of untold size and power your father Philip promised to take it on the ancient power who now threatened the Hellenic world after his death many enemies have arisen including the rebellious Thracian tribes in the north who will rise to the, uh, to the occasion to fulfill the promise of the, your father and head east to take on the great em enemy so you can see straight away that there's an objective being issued and that is the revolt of the Thracians. After Philip's murder, many vassals have rebelled against the new king. While others eventually capitulated, the Thracian tribes have held out against Alexander. Hold the entirety of the following province of Thrake. And when we do that, we will get 10,000 credits. And we skip rid of that. And we're just gonna have a quick look round of where we are. So our starting position is Pala, which is the Macedon start. But, um, but it looks like we've actually got this part of Macedonia as well. Now one of the problems with this start is the fact it's going to be very difficult to get full provinces because we've got Epirus over here who are an ally and we've also got Athens down here and we've got Sparta over here which could be a problem but then again I would like to get them on side because the main thrust is going to be east I mean here's our enemies here of course diplomatically we might as well get started we got Persia over there you can see the big problem with Persia is they've got a whole list of uh, satrapies Egyptus wow we've even got Egyptus um, I'm not sure Arak, Hostia is back train Lydia now Lydia is over here which means that as soon as we push out in this direction what you're going to get is the the immediate coming to comedic confrontation with these satrapies probably the best way to describe this is if whether you've ever played eastern rome in natilla and you have the have to take on the sassanids and one of the problems you have with the sassanids is you get these constant death stacks coming in this is the problem we're going to have here i mean what we do really want to a do flapping is, tongue yeah, that yeah. speaks without wisdom is not welcome Okay. Be like a... Right, we've got a trade deal with them. This is fair to my people. Oh, that... No non-aggression, but that's okay. Sparta like us. So... Welcome. I throw okay, open uh, the doors to you and bid you enjoy. Non-aggression, and maybe we'll just get. Uh... Okay, we we'll just get a bit more cash out of them. Wow. We go for the full three thousand then. That's good. With these words, three thousand income. Dorsi. A flapping tongue uh, that speaks without wisdom is not welcome. Be okay, they've rejected. I cannot say yes. That's okay. Be anything. And of course, these are going to absolutely hate us. This is the Persians. Uh, Lydia is going to hate us, the Thracians are going to hate us, so that's about all we can do this turn. I suppose what we can do is talk a little bit of tactics first. What you're going to be doing is taking these two regions first and consolidating our position because that will give us the river frontage here 
and a defensive line there because we'll be able to defend here and here. We need to get this area really nice and solid before we do anything. Probably get a navy down here. And then once we got solid, we will then push out and take this settlement here. I think there's another settlement up there. Yeah, there's a Dessa there. Take these two settlements. And then we're going to fortify this frontier again. Get to really consolidate it before we start the process of pushing into here. So that's the theory. And what we're going to have to do is try and get things underway. First thing I want to do is... Can I get an agent? Yes. No, there's no great choice, so we're just going to grab an agent. And um, we got just over 20,000. We've got a pretty good army here with quite a lot of cavalry. We've got Sarissa Lancers, Valesian Cavalry, and we got two sets of, well, we've got Sacred Squadron, with, which is Alexander, and we've got some Companion Cavalry. Got some Greek bronze shields and silver shields. Got quite a heavy front line, although it's an odd number, and I don't like odd numbers. So the first thing we're going to do is who are you? These are Athenian hoplites. We obviously can't recruit any of those. We've got light hoplites, levy hoplites. I mean, I would like hoplites, but I, th I suppose. Well, I suppose what we're going to have to do is get some bronze shields in here. We've got two sets of missile troops. I wouldn't mind some more. Greek infantry. Greek slingers. Um, my instinct is to get the range. I think we'll get one of each of those. And what we need now is some shock infantry. I actually quite like these guys as well. They don't have a lot. They've got some reasonable armor. The Axemen. Um, okay, we can't recruit any more of those just at the moment. So. so we've spent a little bit of cash on this. And what's the public order like? The public order is an issue, so we're going to have to get into there straight away. We will expand this. Food is going to be a bit of a problem as well, so get that in for some food. Certainly would like to take up well, to the next level, but that's going to take cost me three food. Let's have a look at Athena. For some reason we can get the water tank and the sanitation. Uh, I think we're going to get that in there straight away. And get some more of that in. Again, my instinct is to take that up get some more food going and I think we will take up that actually no well I think we're get some trade going in Pella and I think that's about all we can do this turn and you know and, oh we're not researching any technologies my instinct is to push this way straight away. Actually, let's see what the recruitment is like. So what do we get for the next level up? I don't see a, a massive change with the between the two levels of recruitment. I think this is going to probably be one of the elements in this campaign is that we've effectively got our baseline units already. So I don't think I need to rush for things. So I think we're going to go with that straight away and start unlocking the technology. So we're looking good. And I think we can go for our first end turn now. Oops, I didn't check the loyalty. A okay, house of expands. Got four percent of chance, minus four percent chance of evading. Okay. <laughs> Household expands, Masters report. We've got recruitment agent. Want you out. Seeing where the opposition is. Right, they've got an army up here. No further orders. Even they're recruiting. Because what I would like to do is draw their army in and 
destroy it, then we can sweep up and actually take uh, this this settlement here. Question is, this is a 17 stack army. What have we got here? These guys are recruiting. They're getting quite a lot of troops in here. We got 4,000 to spend. We hunger for battle. Right, let's see what we got in the way of the family, the summary. So, yeah, We've got no governors, no spies. Politics. We've got uh, well, we've got 20 turns protected. We've got a patriot who's a mogul, likes cash. The Macedonian nobility have a first for power. That's going to be a bit of a problem, but he likes Greeks. So we get plus two loyalty for every Greek faction, which there's been established diplomatic treaties up to 10. So that's pretty good. Uh, let's look at the families. So, well, we certainly want to get Alexander married. Get that in there. Looks like one of the daughters is married to the head of Epirus. That will tie us in there. Got a couple of her daughters, and we got that there. We got, got some quite a nice selection of generals here. How much money have I got left? 3,000. Question is do I get a recruit a general or do I get him married? Okay, look, how much does it cost me to get you married? You can't get married. You can. I mean, these are the ones I'd like to get married. How much is that going to cost me? 611. Okay, we're going to get you married. That means that we can then send her out on missions and get things going. That should also improve your standing a little bit for a turn. So we should be okay that way. And... Is fit back to here. Um, how old are you? You're 23. You're 21. Wow. You're 62. <laughs> okay. Um, you're 64. Why did I get you married? Bit of a waste there. Right. Uh, you're probably not going to win any awards, but that's Demetrius. I think what we're going to do is we're going to raise a force here. Uh, Ptolemy. Yeah, it's just a politician. Right, what we got over here is Cassandra. No, I've got to recruit this character yet. Yeah, well, we don't. Here's Demetrius. We're going to raise an army here. Of course, you're going to be mounted. And we're going to give you a couple of kind of cheapish units uh, oh. wow, fairly expensive and I think we're going to give you a couple of Essien light hoplites and what I want is Come fight with us. okay we're out of money this is where life's going to get a bit interesting A hidden agent exposed. How can I be of and I get through here. When we come up here and take Stowboy. Yeah, I think we could possibly do that. At your command. Oops. Okay, what we're going to do is move. Next round are up here. What I'm looking for is an early victory. And um, we're losing cash now. <laughs> uh... Makes us a little bit of money. We got a bit of public order here, but we hunger for battle. How's the public order in? Yeah, Athens, but four turns and you should be okay. Construction report. We got a homestead. 
So can't do anything else. So we're just gonna come here. I'm just gonna go for an intern. Okay, capture any settlement turns remaining. Treasury one thousand two hundred and fifty. Got nothing built. And Ready what we're going to do is just come into here. And we've got a nice easy victory. Now I could auto resolve this, but if I auto resolve them, I'm going to take casualties and then I'm going to consume manpower. And we're going to fight this. Enemies comes out onto the battlefield, plus the fact that we've got to get the troops on the battlefield so we can actually see what's going on. Okay, fog. Let's also don't want to find the fog. Nice and dry. And what we're going to go for is pretty classic hammer and anvil. And we're going to have our pike inventory on the front line here, like that. You, I think the hoplites you can have on the flanks. They've got no cav, so we'll be okay. And we're going to have Alexander on that flank. Let's have a quick look at Alexander. He's got a pretty big unit, actually. There's Alexander ready to ride into battle. Um, Your orders. Right, what have we got here? Missiles ready and waiting. Yes, medium My spear fortress. infantry. Your service. So, I want you to support the flanks on each side. Ready for battle. We've got a couple of axemen. Will bleed for us. And I think we're going to have you just holding the back line at the moment. Slingers. Uh, what we got here? Who are you? Your service. Have you on that side. Archers. And we're going to have you on this side. I think that's it. We're in position. Missile infantry ready. Who are you? Right. These are Peltas. Not a big fan of Peltas. Let's pick up the infantry. And we're just going to move you forward into the trees. And we're just going to move up here. As the odds are they're going to be up here on this hill, which is going to make life a little bit difficult. We're just going to get the cav round here. General, we'll get the general up here. Let's see if you can see up to here. Okay, just going to keep moving our forces. Forward. Um, I think we're just going to push through through the trees here. Yeah, I'm virtually certain they're up in them. Yeah. Um. I'm going to send this cap up this way. See if we can find them. Bring these up behind. Yeah, there they are. This is going to make assaulting this area ah uh, fairly tough. Keep the axemen behind and. 
Alright, what we're going to need is the longer range of the missile units. Um, we're going to push these Paltas forward. I don't like them. Right, we've got Greek archers and ordinary archers. We use the companion cavalry to try and draw them down off the hill. Okay, there we go. The Sicilian cavalry that way. In the light hoppers up behind. Let's turn this off. the archers up Warriors eager for blood. Run, then these pal tests forward wanna kind of tempt the opposition down you just tag in there I'll push you forward. As you come on. We hunger for blood and battle. Ready and wait. Push these up. Melee, Keep the axemen behind just for the moment. Now there's bound to be other troops up in this area here. And if we can draw their forces this way, we can get Alexander okay, come in and start to sweep their back line. Right. You are the sacrificial lamb. You push forward. There's their forces there. You support. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Rissas hit those. You hit those. You. Right. We have discovered the enemy's hidden units. Generals around the back. Chase forward. Right, we got the cab in behind. Cavalry in the back. Time to bring up the axeman. Archers. Our general is under attack. Yeah, he'd be okay. Wait, stop poncing about. You, that way. Axeman. Now we need to get the Axeman in action. Missile troops away, you're gonna kill my own troops. Got here, unity. Okay. General improves the morale of all units that can be extended. Yes, we're. You support those. They've got one unit left, which is this. That should be it. End battle. Lost 164.
mainly out of this uh, unit here. That gives us a decisive victory over the Thracians. And down they go. This was just going to occupy. And we've got 1,250 in the treasury. And we're just going to push this in now. No further. Um, absolutely nothing. Cannot build. You have insufficient funds. Yes. Wow, that's expensive. What's this here? Four thousand for a tier two. Wow. Um, yeah. Well, we're gonna have to go for the food. Part of me would like to. Recruit another. I think we're going to put Are some ready to serve? one lot of Greek slingers in here. And okay, you've got three turns for that. And that's about all we can do, so we're just going to go for an end turn. Okay, Alexander has. Of course, what Alexander's going to get is Knight Commander. And what we got here. I mean, plus two percent empire maintenance just at this point is probably I can afford to live with because the empire maintenance is probably quite low at the moment. So we've got yeah, I mean six point six. We've got six point six. But we've now got this province here. We're just going to go for the turn. Okay, we've now come. Uh, we've now got land reclamation. Let's do a little research. What I would really like is a woman of dignitaries. I would like a dignitary. Mm. Yeah, it's five turns, but I think getting the dignitaries up and running straight away is pretty good. Now, their army did come this way. At your service, on the road so again. I'm just going to go Can I be of there, assistance? lurking in here somewhere. Commander. Ready? Is that all? How may I serve you? I am your tyrant. At your sir. command. Ready for orders. Right. Concealed from view. And what we're gonna do is put Am Alexander into an ambush stance. Let's see if we can capture their forces coming through there. Uh, At your command. Like to keep building this army up, but at the same time, we'll just Come, get. Fight with us. Now we're we gonna get. We're gonna take a chance because I'd like to upgrade Pella, and we we need to do this. So I don't think there's much else we could do this. I just want to check the loyalty situation. Yeah, so everyone's fairly happy with us just at the moment. I'm just gonna go for an intern. Right, we've got the ambush on them. Night attack doesn't make any difference. We we're equal with Cav. They've got a full stack army. We've got damage units. So we're going to fight this on the battlefield. Deployables. What deployables have we got? We got balls of fire. Um, what have they got here? I must admit, I've never been a, a great fan of the balls of fire, but we will go for them. Your job is going to be launched to launch the balls of fire. Now we've got an uphill advantage here. And I think what we're going to do is just have these here. And I'm just going to have you take that flank here. Orders and 
Spearmen, they've got infantry over here. So, what we're gonna have is you here, and we're gonna have the Thessalian cavalry there. There was my. Just the F1. We'll kill them all. You can go there. Companion cavalry, ready for orders. Um. I think we'll have you there. Spearmen ready for orders. And we're gonna have the spearmen just there with me. And we await your command. We have you there. Archers into the center. This might you pull back. One of our units has used all its ammunition. You General swipe round the back. Axeman round the back. Axeman. Right, you. To those yep. Alexander, pull away. The men are wavering. Yep, it was about saying. Onto those you slingers into there. Salians in wait back here. Sarissa's Sarissa's are all okay. So we got. Mm, You in the collapsing uh, Hoplites, companion cavalry in. Okay. Right, they're collapsing this side. Where's Alexander? Salians in. Companion cavalry. This way. Continue. One of our units has used all its ammunition. 
you over here, see if you can get them before they cross the red line. You kill those. It was a pretty interesting battle. You right there. They're gonna get away. Right. I think that's it. Uh quick battle, end battle. We lost three hundred and eight. But we completely wrecked this army. Which is good. And I think we're, we're going to enslave the captives. Okay. Companions of Alexander, military traditions. Right. Agent. I want you out. Moving on. Finding where can I be of more assistance? Right, how's the public order is minus five? We hunger for gonna bring, I want to bring you back here haste, men. and you, have further orders. you can patrol. I don't care how tired you are. We hunger for battle. Alexander's uh, military traditions. What we got here Alexander's chosen, hand picked, honored by the king, 2% damage for all Hellenic units. Hellenic supporters. Minus 5%. Actually, I think we're going to go with that. Oh, we got a double, so. I actually quite like those. Because we can punch into this army. Right, they're going to run away. get in here and of course we're gonna go for our... right they're isolated so we're gonna fight this on the battlefield uh, wow what is with this place <laughs> let's pull back I think we uh, go with this line up here. Uh, we're going to the front line here. Right, we're going to have Alexander on that side. Uh, you on that side. We're going to have the Axeman there. Got the hoplites on that side. Um, we got some. Right, we got you in position. I think you can sustain the center. You're not much good for anything else. Uh, medium missile infantry. She. See which ones, which ones are which in here. Uh, I'm so used to the units in right in the Roman campaign. I'm actually losing track of right I'm just gonna put you there and your job is going to be to be on that side and when you can just kind of fit in there you can come over there and I want you on that side now they, they do have one cav unit so we're gonna have to keep an eye out for that Again, we're just gonna have to march up the hill, take our time, or and again, we're just gonna use the cav to flank. Now, the odds are they're gonna be up on this ridge line here, which is gonna prove difficult because we've got some broken terrain there. Of course, one of the problems with fighting offensive wars with the, these Greek factions is that these uh, hot pike units are more kind of hold the line defensive units than uh, attacking units, which is a bit of a problem. Of a 
to them as they march up the hills. Okay, we're gonna have to do what we did last time. It's gonna send these. We have discovered the enemy units. Oh, slow down. Our hidden units have been discovered. Ready and waiting. The Salians. Missiles ready and waiting. Fearless warrior. And in. Cab in. You focus fire on Our hidden units those units discovered. there. You in Axman. You focus fire on those. Cavalry break away. Go after those. Out of position. Sarissa's. Right, you focus fire on those. One of our units has used all its ammunition. Right, so, right. Hey. Axeman, get in. Break those. Where's my other Axeman? Sarissa's, what are you doing in there? Uh, Missile infantry. Hoplites, ready. Understood. You pull away. Hoplites, keep advancing. Just keep pushing them for the moment. Sailing cavalry in. Right. Alexander working magic. Search is fire the unity. Right, We've got these guys. Uh, continue. I just want to make sure this general's dead. The enemy general right. is dead. Quick battle, end battle. We lost 104 on that battle, but we've destroyed this army. And they should be dead. And you go. <laughs> and I think we're going to ransom those. It's going to upset our friends, I think, if we... Yeah. And we're not running any negatives just at the moment. Yeah. Um, chance of success Roy reveals as yet undiscovered army settlements and agents belonging to the target faction. That worth 330, probably not. How can I be of assistance? What I am gonna do is send you Trading around there. I shall so what we got way. here? We got an army of ten. And so they got twenty-six, we've got eighteen. Ready for uh, Alexander has got the morale boost. Right, I'm certainly gonna take that. 
Alright, that. At your command. Right, we're gonna have to lay siege at this because it's going to be a little bit of a long battle to hack our way into there. And we're just gonna continue no the siege. I don't to know. Battle. We got the money. That's seventeen hundred, that's two thousand, that's way too much. Um, we got Larissa. Now these guys are gonna probably rebel, so what I'm gonna do is bring you up here. Your next command. And that means that this is probably gonna have a problem, so what I'm gonna do is use the money to raise uh, another general we got here. Macedonian nobility. Let's have a quick look at the factions. So, you're there. So we need uh, the leader of the Macedonian nobility here. So we'll just go, oops, what am I doing? So, actually, sorry. Macedonian nobility. You're 22. You're Cassandra. Yeah, that's the person I want to develop. So we're going to recruit Cassandra. Here we are. I mean, none of these guys are particularly very good because they're level 1, so... I'm just going to recruit you. Ready for orders. And we're going to get... Uh, Beat Slingers. Sign up, lads. Okay, a couple of Greek slingers life. in there. And this is where I'm going to leave it. Hope you enjoyed the episode. Hope you found it interesting. In the next part, we will probably keep trying to siege these guys down. See if we can grind them down a little bit. Although we're Again, taking attrition. So what I might do is bring this army through. But that's all for the next part. So until next time, whatever you do, enjoy your gaming.